Real game. We in this in this thing I say a ram uh, uh, game. We in this in this thing I say a ram uh, uh, game. We in this, in this thing I say a ram game. We about to do I think I say a uh, what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries. We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang, crank up, turn it for them Aries. We stay turned up, we be flexing for them Aries. What's up, gang, gang? What's up, Ram, gang? What's poppin'? What's going on with the Aries between the 22nd and 31st of December, the end? Hmm? Hmm? How the hell are we closing out this year? Is we making decisions? Is we choosing ourselves? Are we in the place of we're actually taking our rest that our body is literally screaming out to us that we need it. Are we shaking all of those emotional roller coasters and letting go of what once was and tearing down foundational structures within the mind in order to manifest? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> this will be for my Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the end of December 2018. This is not a personal reading. If you need that information, um, that can be found within the, or if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description of the video. Also, um, you guys, while meditating on your energy, I just felt the, the sense of exhaustion. I felt the sense of confusion or conflict. And I felt it being a conflict. Focus, I felt like it, I kept hearing, I'm so close. I'm so close. But some of you are or some of us rather because I'm also in Aries um, some of us are really having to be receiving and be grateful for the things that we already have as well as grateful for the lessons as well as the path that we've already kind of overcome we're at the end of cycles Mars is coming back home I believe sometime in January y'all correct me you know I'm not an astrologer but please correct me if I'm wrong you know so for all of my new subscribers Hey, boo, hey, welcome to the family. We don't live dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, okay? Hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. This is your first time to my channel. What's popping? I might cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depends on what some of these cards say. Um, To my returning subscribers, family, it's been quite the damn journey. I thank y'all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Thank you for allowing me to share my light with you all this year. I started my channel January 26th. 2018 we getting ready to make a year and you couldn't have told me that i would have 8600 plus subscribers y'all i'm thankful a part of me wants to cry but you know what it's a movement we're growing we're evolving things are going to be done a different way going in 2019 so i'm going to be taking a break in january uh pretty much the whole month of january so i'm going to be doing january monthly so y'all yeah, bear with me you want to trust your intuition and truly move forward and really listen to your gut space okay um again if you need that reading go ahead and give me get it get it get in there okay because the only day that i'm going to be off for show for show on um in december is going to be on christmas the day after the day before i'm definitely working so if you need that reading hit me up okay so let's let's see what the oracle has to say for the sign of aries between now and the 31st of December. Well, all right. I feel like every you feel like you're having a hard time with the line and things. I did pull two angel messages for you all. But first of all, I really don't know what it says. But when we get to it, I'm saving it to the end of the reading. See how it resonates with the reading. So, Spirit, please give me what it is I need to see. I need to see. My areas. For the internal space. With the cards. Okay, y'all know I usually have my stuff shuffled out, but try something different. My spirit. The messages for the sign of every year. Some of you all during this time are going to be walking through do, through new doors, closing cycles out, okay? To uh, And I feel like you're needing to close that cycle out because there's a fear I'm hearing of vulnerability. And I feel like there is a particular cycle area that's going to be coming to completion. 
I feel that a lot of you all, something about rainbows, rainbows would definitely be a confirmation to someone's prayers, but I definitely see someone walking in the door of wealth and prosperity, but having to leave um, a particular cycle of their life behind. I feel like this new uncharted territory is definitely going to be something that's going to require for you to have confidence, Aries, but it's going to require you to take your power back in the completion of a cycle, I feel. Yeah, for some of you all, you could be moving to new heights. I feel that there's a need for Aries during the time to truly focus on gaining their confidence back. Don't tell yourself, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. There's this need to find the harmony within to get back up again, okay? Possibly after completing a cycle, okay? But there's definitely, this is def definitely going to be a harmonious time. Some of you are really, 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 um, really going to be kind of pushing towards careers that have to do with spotlight, okay? I'm seeing that some of you all are going to be um, pushed towards some, some type of endeavor. Or it's, a, it's a part of your life purpose. It's to be famous, okay? For some of you all, it's definitely having to do with theater arts. For some of you all, it's also having to do with some type of um, dance, some form of dance. But I definitely feel like Aries is kind of stuck in this period right now telling yourself what I can't do. What I can't do when I tried in the past, that didn't work out for me then. Spirit says no more. That cycle is coming to completion. But some of you all, yeah, you musicians. Some of you all, you may be musicians, songwriters. I'm hearing divine timing. For some of you all, things are balancing out, okay, for you to be able to move forward and be successful in your endeavors. But you have to really trust in yourself and to really speak life into yourself and your abilities to know that you are talented, you are gifted, okay? You are loved. You are divinely guided by spirit. Trust the God that lives within you, Aries. Some of you all, you could be seeing 11-11. I feel that you're on the brink of a new beginning for some of you all. And it definitely has to do with some type of creative endeavor. For those of you who are musicians, I feel like there's this need to find that balance within. Turn your pain into power. That in whatever cycle this is that you're completing, I feel like you're completing the end of a turbulent time with seven with the seven-year cycle that could have kind of beat you and really kind of bruise your confidence a bit, bruise your ego. But there's this need to come back into balance and in harmony within yourself in order for you to push forward in a very massive and confident way. Aries, you deserve it all. We have went through hell for the last eight years, baby. Yeah. But some of you all, there's a need to see things from a different perspective. I feel like there's balance that's trying to come towards a come towards some type of partnership. This could be some type of um business endeavor or this could be with love as far as manifesting what it is that your heart desires from a creative space or using creativity in order to move past you know that fear of succeeding or fear that you won't be um successful going forward in your endeavors in following your creative um your creative pursuits for some of you all there's definitely um a need to truly see things from more than one see things from more than one side of the fence, Aries. You're really needing to understand that two people, okay, in this picture that's depicted, okay, you have two people, all right? Now, this is an older version of this person, all right, but this is a younger version of this person. So there's a need to, to, to step away from some particular circumstance or some particular subject and truly see it from a higher perspective, okay? Because it doesn't take any, it doesn't take anything away from the way that you feel about a particular particular uh, matter, but I definitely feel that there is a higher perspective that is calling for your attention during this time, because I feel like maybe if this is a partnership that's trying to come to some form of stability, it's how you truly see stability. Are you going to see stability from a place of or, or see, you know, your blessings from a place of gratitude, experience, wisdom, okay? Or are you going to see them from just a place of, you know, where you've been, but not truly, not truly grasping the aspect of how much it's built you and how much it prepares you for the journey that's ahead, okay? I feel like you don't get this damn old being no fool, but it all goes back to how you choose to look at a situation or for that matter what you choose to look at within a situation do you see the glasses half empty or do you see the glasses half full for some of you all yeah for some of you all there's a need to yeah expand but in order to expand you're really going to have to possibly release um some of you all are really taking your power back and for some of you all, you're releasing possibly someone who you feel has been pulling emotional strings, okay?
For some of you all, it's about truly expanding, but not expanding from a place of, you know, being afraid to show your true self. It's okay to take the mask off, Aries. It's safe now. The smoke has cleared. Because what's going on here, I feel like someone, someone is possibly wanting to expand in love. However, they're stuck in a situation or I feel like you have to, you feel like someone else is pulling the strings, okay, in order for a relationship or some of y'all, I'm hearing someone could be pulling the strings to prevent you from expanding and truly releasing, okay, your inner goddess. Some of you all definitely have some type of connection to fairies as well. Something about a music box as well. Some of you all are high priests, high priestess, and I feel that you're learning how to manifest with fairies, okay, or taking some type of um, divine guidance from some type of uh, source of fairies. Some of you all are just truly releasing, you, you, you're, you're done allowing people to pull the strings on how they feel that things should go and how they should be. So, you know, you know you're expanding from that place of allowing people to you know, validate how they feel that you should move. There's a sense of freedom, freeing myself from emotional manipulation, closing this cycle in my life to understand that I can trust myself confidently moving forward because I have what it takes. And there's this need to release that light that's been trying to shine so bright from the depths of your soul, Aries, but you don't want to let it go out of a place of fear. Some of you are. There's a need to expand. All these nines. There's a need to expand. And I feel like with everything that you've carried on your back, okay, for some of you all, Aries, maybe someone feels like they're carrying all the weight or maybe you feel like you're carrying all the weight on your back having to do with expansion, okay, and expanding. Maybe some of you all are single parents. But I feel like for some of you all, <laughs> There is no more jumping through the hoops anymore, baby. There's no fear of you not being safe or somebody being able to carry you because now you know that I can carry myself. And for some of you all, either this is within your energy or uh, or, ex or external to your energy area, someone is really getting, a, getting that damn monkey off their back. I feel like someone is trying very, very, very hard to please you to bring expansion to your world in the midst in the way that you can see it. But there's this true need for you to acknowledge, okay, Aries, the things that are being balanced out before you, okay, versus seeing versus seeing what is not. But some of you all, hmm, some of y'all during this time, you're going to take off the mask. You're taking off the, the the mini, mini, mini mask and accepting this phase of evolution and evolving and really seeing situations for what they are. I feel like this is a very reflective state, a, a very reflective state for you, Aries. A lot of you all may be looking at yourself during this time and really speaking that confidence back in your life. I am beautiful. I am love. I deserve love. And some of you all are definitely... Um, Definitely carry, definitely um, wearing a mask, and I feel like it has to do with vulnerability, and change, and embracing it in harmony within the self. Some of you all could also be waiting for you, waiting, waiting to receive a message. Okay, and I feel like for Aries, some of you all have been waiting for quite some time. For some of you all, I feel that there's a message coming that's going to bring you some type of clarity and harmony within the self. For some of you all, someone is really wanting to, they're kind of in their head about bringing harmony to a situation, to a cycle in order to complete it, but start anew. And I feel like, Aries, some of you all are just really kind of, you've been wasting your youth waiting on this damn message. And I feel like it's from someone who you're very passionate about, but there's this sense of fast movement. And for some of you feeling like you're running out of time, you're running out of time. I keep hearing I'm running out of time. Some of you all, <laughs> some of you all, there's this need to truly, truly, truly connect with your emotions and accept this newness that spirit is really trying to bestow upon your lives as far as love and compassion and companionship. And I feel like it's going to bring a massive change to Aries. 
and there's this need to really get out of this bubble because yeah there's so much self-love within that bubble but i feel like for some of you all there's also a need to protect your energy during this time with the external changes going on around you that are without your control that is kind of forcing you to this port to, to, to this portion of your life where you really have to assess it to really make decisions on what works best for your future, what needs to be released, what things can be held on to, and what things in my life am I needing to change. And the fact that this woman is clearly in the water and she's naked, that shows me a sense of some type of vulnerability around the feelings, around your true self, and it's okay to be vulnerable and express your feelings. You don't have to be so strong all the time, Aries. All right, so what's coming from my rams? Let's check on your love messages. Spirit, what can my Aries expect? Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus signs from now until the 31st of December in love. What can I thank you, Spirit? Yeah, for some of you all, I feel like <laughs> some of you all have definitely been having someone try to pull the strings emotionally i think some of you all during this time are really your perspective is shifting and you're actually being able to see where someone have possibly emotionally manipulated you but you're not even angry about it aries i feel that you're really taking it with a grain of salt some of y'all are truly 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 trying to pull the strings on a situation to be able to um manipulate y'all way into having y'all cake and eating too some of you all have someone trying to manipulate or pull the strings to ensure that this cycle does not close, okay? I feel like someone really wants to hold on to you. They don't want you to move away, Aries, okay? Some of you guys during this time in love, some of y'all moving away from a fire sign due to the fact that they're very deceptive, okay? Some of you guys could also have a water sign in your energy. I feel like this person is trying to make an offer, okay? But during this time, Aries, some of you guys may choose to, or some of you guys may have, um, a water sign or an earth sign in your energy that one this could have been somebody being very deceptive in the past or maybe didn't open up with their emotions and i feel like you or this other person could have pulled back away from the situation and now this person is reaching out to communicate and i see a lot of y'all just really moving away from that shit you just really want to close the cycle you over it some of y'all are ending cycles with a virgo as well you're not going to take that off for some of you all yeah some of you guys are ending cycles with someone who can who continuously juggles you and someone else somebody's definitely juggling um a earth sign capricorn towards virgo for some of y'all it's two earth signs a virgo and a capricorn or two capricorns for some of you guys it's trying to juggle the balancing of a relationship okay as well as being emotionally available to somebody as well as your finances because i feel a lot of you guys are starting over just truly focused on Keeping that balance and that focus going as far as your business endeavors because you really don't want to take no ill and start over. You really want to secure, you want to secure yourself before you open to receiving love fully and making a decision to truly move forward towards a soulmate relationship. Okay. I do see whatever it is that you've been working on and putting your efforts into, you are going to be closing a cycle where you have to feel like, you know, um, well, maybe, you know, well, pretty much where you're doubting yourself. Yeah, some of y'all are being defensive towards a soulmate relationship, possibly with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or um, this could also be with a fire sign. I feel like some of y'all have an earth sign that really wants to come in and put in the work with you. I feel like this person has been working on their stability before they even made this offer. I feel like it has been a slow-moving offer, but this is someone who really wants to come and invest you i feel like this could also be someone who uh, could be working on owning their own business aries for some of you all it's really juggling what the hell do i really want to do financially some of y'all are really being defensive y'all kind of on the fence um about a soulmate relationship and i feel like it has to do with maybe somebody could have recently started a new job or finances could have been an issue in the past preventing preventing things from moving forward aries i feel like when it comes to a soulmate relationship you're just ultimately wanting to have your own stability some of y'all are defensive towards um some of y'all got new love as we move forward into 2019 some of y'all could also be receiving some type of engagement from someone to be a this could also be a divine partnership of some sort coming to manifest um into fruition 
For some of you all, it's definitely involving the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the Pisces. Yeah. And I feel like there's victory going forward and love for you guys during this time. You're coming out of this place of indecisiveness or indecision, okay? Some of you guys have could have possibly been in your head regarding a Taurus person. Even this person could have been um, kind of arguing back and forth, okay? For some of you all, it's having to do with outsiders, all right? I feel like someone's very indecisive or there's outsiders like family members, friends, okay? That's really kind of... Getting into your relationship, I don't feel like these people mean, I don't feel like some of them do do mean ill will, okay? But some of you guys are going to be cutting off some type of family dynamic or maybe before someone, someone's indecisive about victoriously moving forward and truly trusting in this union because there's like a chapter that they need to close. Maybe they were fighting with a fire sign. For some of you all, someone could be, you could be arguing about someone needing to cut off um, possibly a tourist person before you guys can move forward. Or there could be someone who's just very indecisive. Aries, this could also be you. There's this need to truly communicate what it is that you truly want. And if it's this family situation and this love partnership, I say go for it because the energy looks okay. For some of you all, you definitely are going to be receiving some type of clarity and information, okay? This could definitely involve a Pisces or a Scorpio. But I feel like something is going to be surfaced around this full moon. And it's going to allow you to truly... Truly, truly expand and also close karmic cycles. Some of you guys are just going to choose. I'm going to um, have somebody either an earth sign or a water sign. I uh, have Pisces or um, Scorpio. Somebody's really wanting to focus on themselves and build themselves and, and build, build themselves financially, okay? For some of you all, you're going to express to somebody, look, I can't focus on this soulmate relationship. Until, you know, all of my pinnacles in all of the areas, which you don't know, is that you need to heal that heal, okay? For some of you all, you just really want to let somebody know, look, I have to, fo I want to focus. I just want to focus on getting money and healing because I'm still holding on to some things that it's hard for me to, you know, open up. Oh, it, it, it's really hard for me to open up to you because I'm going through some shit. I've, I've had to, you know, truly, truly move through some cycles very promptly. It's situations where I was left out in the cold. Some of you guys are possibly healing after being left out in the cold. Okay? Yeah. Possibly for being indecisive, Aries. But some of you are. You're leaving someone out in the cold. You're having to leave someone out in the cold. And I feel like you're keeping the feelings very close to your chest. But what you don't know is you're needing to make that decision. But some of you all, it's between two creative endeavors. But some of you all, it's between two partners. Okay? This could be air and fire, air and water. Just a little... Uh, Earth and water, a little bit of everybody is here, okay? But I definitely see there being some type of financial blessing coming forward towards the end of the month for my Aries that's going to assist them and actually being able to, you know, receive love, be accepted to love, or for that matter, give their love, okay? Possibly you or another person, some Aries, somebody could feel like you have a lot of options, all right? Or maybe you feel like someone else has a lot of options and this is why, you know, someone is being indecisive on which way did they which way did they want to go do i want a relationship or not some of y'all have somebody really 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 watching y'all i feel like somebody is stalking your social media i'm also um here and passing by passing by your home passing by your job for some of you guys it could definitely be um sorry a capricorn person for some of you all it could be someone who really doesn't want to let you go aries some of you guys really want to just free yourself and go explore your options. I feel like for those of you, some of you guys look at relationship as bondage. And you're really needing to tear down the foundations and the structural the structure around that particular belief because where you've been has nothing to do with where you're going. We're moving forward during this time, okay? Aries, some of you guys have a cancer that's really obsessing with you and having a hard time moving forward. This person is watching you, and I feel like you're being possibly defensive toward this person, okay? Or someone really wants to move forward. Aries, you or another person is very defensive about moving forward because they view the other person as toxic, even though there can be a beautiful new beginning here. Some of y'all couldn't offer counsel. You're like, I got options. I got to take this shit you be giving me. Yeah, some of you guys are really healing your heart space, coming to harmony within yourself, yeah? Speaking your truths and being honest about it, 
You don't want that karma back. You know what that feel like. Because I feel like for some of you all, you feel burdened. There's a level of I love you, but I no longer feel fulfilled. And I feel like somebody was avoiding the tire moment. But there's a need for a perspective shift. For a foundational belief structural a, a belief for a foundational belief structure or a belief structure that you've been taught based on your experiences in the past that's preventing you from being optimistic or trusting in a healthy union. Even though you love this person and you're extremely passionate about them, for some of you all, this could involve another Aries. For some of you all, it definitely could involve a Leo or a Sag. But there's this need to drop the pride and be vulnerable. Yeah, Leo. Some of you guys could have actually experienced a child moment with another person. But there's this newness that's trying to come forward, okay? For some of you all, someone who you could possibly have children with, okay? I feel like there's a need to end the cycle, okay? And move forward because I feel like someone who heard from you while you were pregnant or someone who you have children with is wanting to come back in and make an offer. And I feel like, Aries, a lot of you guys are not trusting. You're kind of on the fence. Because for some of you all, you are already in a relationship and you're really feeling like, well, damn, I have to move away from something. For some of y'all, you're just not going to choose no damn body. You're going to choose your stability. Yeah, some of y'all have a Leo or someone new trying to come in and offer love. This could also be someone who you're reconciling with, okay? Someone who you have to complete a cycle with who you could have possibly had a third party um, dealing with in the past. And you're really needing to make a judgment call. Some of you guys have been really stressing about this shit. I feel like it's really hard for you to release someone. Some of you guys really want to reconcile or someone will be coming forward to reconcile a family situation, okay? I feel like there's a newness that can come forward. Some of you guys have manifested this. And here this person coming. And I feel like this energy, though, when this person comes, they intuitively know that you're heartbroken. Some of y'all are dealing with an intuitive. Who knows that someone you may have a fire sign coming forward for you or that you that you're going to be moving away from them areas. And I feel like it's intuitively, you know, it's going to crush somebody. And intuitively, they, they're already kind of slightly accepting by it. But it just it, it still doesn't stop it with accepting by it. it. They're still accepting of it, but it's still going to hurt areas. Some of y'all, you're going to have to move away and move forward and let that hurt go. Let that hurt go. You can't take that baggage in the new year, baby. There's a need for you guys to get serious and truly ask yourself, Aries, what is it that you truly want? Because intuitively, somebody who you have a child with, if you've been feeling this person coming forth, this could be Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, Aries, another water sign. I feel like some of y'all are going to be hearing messages possibly about uh, regarding children. This could be you or someone else external. For some of y'all, it's the catalyst situation for you to let go. For some of you all, someone's have a hard time letting you go and moving away from you, Aries, because they feel that you are their queen of wands. They feel that, you know, somebody actually feel like they don't want to let you go because they know that you could be pregnant. Maybe they've been having dreams about you having a baby. You guys having a baby. But there's this need for someone to truly heal from the past. And truly walk away from what once was in order to make something really flourish the way in a family situation in a new way and really be accepting to this new cycle that's trying to come forth. But you're going to have to leave that hurt and that pain and that disappointment in the past. That can't go with you. The bag is too small. So truly purge and allow yourself to feel your emotion, but to not look at it from a place of regret and remorse and resent, but look at it from a place of respect and gratitude, recognition, acknowledgement to the self. Take your power back, Aries. Some of you guys really need to speak your truth in a very loving way. For some of y'all, it could involve a Taurus person. Some of you guys, there's engagements coming. Congratulations. Sorry to ruin the surprise, but I feel like you were trying to manifest that. Some of y'all manifested someone right in your life, not knowing that you're going to walk away from this person. I feel like there's a family situation trying to resurrect, but ultimately this has to do with someone's transformation to so walk away from it. 
And this could also have to do with the Scorpio person as well. Take that leap of faith, Aries. The angel messages that I pulled from you guys come from um, the Archangels Oracle Cards by Doreen, uh, Doreen Virtue. The message that I got for my Aries is sensitivity during this time. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Aries, there's a need for you to truly get out in nature and truly understand that you are divinely guided and that there is some type of some type of shifting that's happening for Aries. So you're really needing to allow yourself that a lot, that alone time, that quiet time and meditation. For some of you all, you're going to be receiving some type of um, healing, uh, healing or some type of messages through music. For some of you all, this do like some type of divine meditation music or uh, angelic meditation music. The next message I have for you guys is prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Sensitivity, I'm sorry. Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. What are you scared for? Prosperity. Prosperity is all around you. And that is what's to come up on your path. We're needing you to take that leap of faith, Aries. And for some of you, it's to take that leap of faith towards an equal give and take in any type of partnership and being accepting to that so that you can truly receive your blessings the way the Spirit is truly trying to pour them onto you. And for some of you, it's taking that leap of faith towards that creative endeavor. And not believing what everybody else say. It ain't what people call you, but it's what you answer to. Believe, remember that. Okay? So this is what I have for my Rams between now and the 31st of December. I love y'all very, very, very much. Um, if I we don't speak again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, you guys. And I pray the Spirit really, really, really reigns in your world. Abundance, prosperity, wealth, great health. May God bless your finances and your faith, baby, as we roll into a new year towards expansion, loving, learning, and truly living our lives to the fullest capacity, fearlessly. All right? I love y'all, my babies. Bye, familia. Until the first.